programming skills using C lecture number 29. We are still dealing with structured data type and this time we are going to write a C program with function subprograms to find the sum of complex numbers. So in this lecture therefore you will create a new data type called complex and then write some function subprograms to input, print and then find the sum of complex numbers. Let us see. First of all, let us try to understand what is a complex number. As you know, complex number consists of a real part and an imaginary part. So you are familiar with integer, float, etc. These are uh, uh, natural numbers. And here we are coming to complex numbers. It is contains, a, this is like any other number. B also is any other number. But then there is multiplied by I. I is nothing but square root of minus 1. Square root of minus 1 is I. So this is a complex number. And we have to use a structure to represent this complex number. As we are creating a new data type here. So type dev struct complex type this time. And then say float real and float imaginary. This is the real part. This is the imaginary part. And this is the new data type. Complex is the new data type we have created using structure uh, data type. So let us see now how to find the sum uh, of these two complex numbers. The uh, addition of complex numbers. I have got two complex numbers. X is equal to 2 plus 7i. Y is equal to 7 minus 3i. I want to find the sum of these. So x plus y. So I have got x value here and y value here. And then it's a, uh, 2 plus 5 plus 7 minus 3i. So the sum of these two complex numbers is 7 plus 4i. So this is what you are supposed to do in your program. Find the sum of these two complex numbers using a function subprogram. Similarly, you can write one more function to subtract one complex number from the other. For example, x is y, y is here. Therefore, x minus y is equal to x value minus y value. That is 7 minus 4 plus 2i minus 5i. It becomes 3 minus, oh, there's a mis uh, 3 minus 3i. Uh, this is the uh, result of subtracting so y from x. So now, my dear friends, I would like you to pause this video. And I would like you to write four functions. Start with three functions. Right? To input complex number, to print the complex number, and to find the sum, and then later the product of two complex numbers. And sum and product will return a type, data type called complex. Please remember that. And please remember inputting, inputting uh, complex number means you have to get it out. So therefore you have to do it as give it as a pointer, complex pointer. So I'll give you the prototypes of that. So void function input complex number, complex star x. Therefore, x is a pointer of complex pointer. Uh, why, you know, I've already explained because if you are want, want to get the value from the function, it has to be declared as a pointer. Whereas here I don't have to declare as a pointer, it's just printing, I'm sending by value. Here I'm sending by reference. So, uh, yeah. And then complex, add complex numbers. I'm adding two complex numbers and it is returning a complex number. Similarly, I'm sending two, I'm sending values of two complex numbers. So it gives, returns the product of these two complex numbers. So now you pause this video and then start writing first the prototypes of these functions then we'll write the main program and write the three of these functions uh, or uh, first and afterwards you can write the last function multi complex number i'll show you how to do the multiplication later here i've written the function the program complete program is here uh, i hope you have already written so here i have declared a new data type here, these are the three functions I have given here. Input complex number, print complex number, as you see, star, this is I'm passing by reference, passing by value, here I'm passing by value. So I'm clearing, I've got X, Y, Z, or you may say A, B, C, and then title here. So input complex number, I'm going to input complex number X, it will come out of that. 
and input uh, print again uh, second one i'm inputting second y then i print complex number x print complex number y and then i say just function add complex numbers x and y z contains the sum of these two complex numbers i print i use as you see I'm using the print statement three times one function uh, used many times that is the advantage of writing functions so uh, i'm uh, writing the um, the sum of these two complex numbers see here we have the functions so i have got here so i have to in the function this time i am going to ask enter the real part of the complex number so i am going to real get it here ampersand x uh, arrow real you remember this is a pointer therefore i have to use arrow real similarly here x arrow imaginary i have got two values automatically it will go out of this uh, function containing real and imaginary values of uh, the function of this uh, of this uh, complex number here i'm just passing it by value i'm going to print please remember it could be a negative value therefore if it is greater than uh, zero i'm going to put plus there otherwise i have to uh, have minus there minus will automatically it will come so this is to print complex numbers and here very simple add complex number first i get the sum of real and sum of imaginary and return z so this function returns and therefore as we have shown here i just call this function you know, function add complex so you don't have to say complex x complex y please remember x comma y that's all give the name of the variable complex variable and it returns z will contain the sum of these two numbers and you have got the print complex number it prints the value of z the sum of x and y so these are the three functions i would like you to add the next one complex function multi complex numbers same format but here you have to do the multiplication which i am going to show you immediately so for example here i have got uh, example so I have, for example first complex number i have entered real 4 imaginary 2 here real 2 imaginary 5 so these are the i have printed these two complex numbers therefore 4 plus 2 it should be 6 uh, 2 plus 5 it should give 7 so this is the sum of these two complex numbers similarly here one more example here to find 4 2 i am using minus 5 so these are the two complex numbers 4 plus 2 will give you 6 2 minus 5 will be 3 so 3.0 i so this is the complex number the sum of these two complex numbers so you get an idea about what these complex numbers are with that we go to the multi i'll give you the formula for multiplication as you see we have to multiply a plus b i into c plus d i so this is this is the result of that a c minus b d plus uh, a d plus b c into i this becomes uh, the formula for the multiplication of two complex numbers it becomes x real into y real please remember minus x imaginary into y imaginary plus x real into y imaginary x plus x imaginary into y real so this is the formula you have to use this formula in that uh, function you are going to write function multi complex numbers you are going to pass x and y so this is just the formula of that and then it will return then you say return z return z automatically now this is the uh, multi complex numbers so thank you